Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss few frequently asked Java entry questions on main method. Well, as we know that main method is the entry point for all the Java programs or we can say the execution of the any Java program starts from the main method, right? For instance, let's say I have a class and here I quickly create a main method and main method is basically a standard, right? So in main method, we have these signatures, public, static, wide, and the name of the method is main, and then method argument, or of string, right? Well, you can see this main method here, we have array of string, right? We have passed array of string, but we can also give where args. So this is called where args. It means variable arguments, right? Either you can provide array of strings or where args okay variable arguments so this is the standard syntax i mean standard syntax for main method in java and main method is basically an entry point of all java programs or we can say every java program execution starts from the main method well you can see right here these are the eight important questions on main method that we are going to discuss in this video well, the first question is why the main method is public static? Well, first let's see why main method is static in Java. Well, main method is static in Java, so JVM can directly invoke it without instantiating the classes object. Well, as we know that whenever we call a main method, I mean, whenever we call a static method, we don't have to create an object of the class, isn't it? We can use a name of the class to call the static method. Well, as we know that main method is a static, so JVM can directly invoke static method. Okay, and JVM no need to create object of the class. Right, and basically the static methods will be loaded at the time of class loaded. So JVM basically loads the classes, right? So while loading the classes, JVM will also load the static methods because static methods are class level, not to the instance, I mean object level, isn't it? So let's say if main method is non-static, then JVM needs to create an instance of the class and there would be ambiguity if constructor of that class takes an argument, right? For example, let's say this is the class and this class has many constructors, parameterized constructors. Like this constructor take one argument, this constructor take two arguments, this constructor take array of strings, right? There could be you know any number of constructors in the class and let's say jvm want to call the main method of this class then jvm what it need to do is it need to create an object of the class right while creating an object it should call the constructor then here you can see we have too many constructors in the class while creating a class object jvm which constructor need to call right there should be an ambiguity right which constructor i mean which constructor which parameter uh, JVM need to pass that is the ambiguity right that's why you know the main method made a static so that JVM can call static main method directly it no need to create the object of the class I hope this clear to you so in interview make sure that you will you know give an example like this create a class create a few parameter constructor and you can say like while creating an instance of the class, JVM will call the constructor and uh, JVM will confuse like which constructor need to call, which you know, what are the parameter need to pass, right? So this will arise in ambiguity. That's the reason main method, you know, made as a static so that JVM, JVM will directly call it, isn't it? Now let's see why main method is a public. Well, as we know that anyone can access a method having public access specifier. So main method is a public in Java because it can be invoked by JVM. So if main method is not public in Java, then JVM won't able to call it, right? So if you make any method as a public, you can access that you know public method from anywhere. If you make it private or protected, then there would be a access restriction, right? That's why main method you know uh, made as a public so that JVM can call it from anywhere. Isn't it? Your main, your main method can be located in 
any anywhere i mean anywhere in the project so that jvm will you know able to call it that's the reason you know main method has made a uh, public so that jvm can able to access it from the anywhere isn't it let's take a look into the next question can we overload main method in java yes we can overload main method a java class can have any number of main methods but to run that java class the class should have a main method with this exact signature public static void main and the method argument is array of strings right so yes we can overload the main methods in java so there can be any number of main methods in java class but in order to run that java class your your class should have main method with these you know signatures right for example let me demonstrate this let's say i have a main method over here and let's say i have sysout i will just put a main here okay and i will create a one more main method with different signature over here let's say int and i will make it as an int so now we have two overloaded main methods with different signatures let me overload another method let me call it as a long array of long and then here i will pass long okay now i have three overloaded main methods so in order to run this java class there should be a standard main method which which has public static void and the method argument or your string or you know string varchar so here we can replace varchar with or your string isn't it so let me run the program and you can able to see only this will get print here you can see because this is the standard main method that jvm will invoke and other overloaded main methods uh, you know jvm won't be able to access because the signature here is a different right the method argument is different now what we'll do we'll see if i remove this standard main method and if i try to run this program then jvm jvm will won't able to run this program because it won't able to find the main method standard main method right here you can see the error main method not found in this class correct so that's why you can overload any number of main methods in the class right but in order to run this java class your java class should have this standard main method with these signatures public static void and the method signature is array of strings right i hope this is clear to you well let's take a look into the next question can we declare the main method as a private protected or default well no i mean the main method must be public you cannot define main method as a private or protected or default so this is because main method accessible to jvm so if you made a main method as a private or protected or default then jvm won't able to call it because the you know visibility or access should be restricted restricted in case of private protected or default all right so let me demonstrate this with an example so let me remove this now i have a main method in my class and the main method is public now jvm can able to you know access this public main method and here we go the program should run properly if i made this main method as a private then jvm will won't able to access because its scope is only related to this class we cannot access private method from outside the class isn't it so if i run this program then jvm will won't able to access this method you can see main method not found in the class you will get this error and let's say if i make this main method as protected this also gives the same error right here you can see and if i remove protected by default there is no access modifier then this will be the default method so let me run the program and there we go right so main method should be public so that jvm can able to easily access it right so let me make it public and let me run the program and this should work properly 
right it means that we cannot make main method as a private protected or no access modifier i hope this clear to you let's head over to the next question can we declare the main method as non static no so if you make main method as a non static then again jm have to create object of the class and then jm will need to call this non static method using object right that's why main method must be declared as a static so that jm can call the main method without instantiating its class if you remove static from the main method signature the compilation will success but a program fails at a run time so let's go and let's see here i have main method if i remove static keyword from the method and if i run the program it should give the error right main method is non not static in the class because if i if i make non static if i make this main method non static then jm have to create object of this class and let's say if i have multiple you know constructors especially parameterized constructor in this class then there should be an ambiguity right jm which constructor need to call what are the parameter need to pass right so there should be an ambiguity that's why we have to make main method as a static so that jm can able to access it directly right so i hope this clear to you okay we cannot you know make a main method as non static let's head over to the next question can the main method take an argument other than string array no an argument of main method must be a string array but from the introduction of where args you can pass where args of the string type as an argument to the main method again where args nothing but arrays let me demonstrate this with an example so here you can see i have a class within a class main method so this is the standard main method and you can see this is a string array right and uh, we can replace string array with where args okay you can you should put here three dots so this is called where args so this where args nothing but arrays only all right so you can either make a main method with string array or where args this is called variable arguments okay both same i mean where args nothing but uh, you know arrays only right so you cannot pass any other arguments to the main method you should have to pass string array or where args like this okay i hope this clear to you let's take a look into next question can we run a java class without main method the answer is no we cannot define a class or we cannot run a class without main method static from java 7 in the previous release that is before java 7 we have a static initializers as an alternative but from java 7 onwards we cannot run a java class without main method okay so this is a perfect example for that well let's next take a look into the next question can we make the main method as a final in java well yes you can make the main method final here is the example so let me demonstrate this with an example well here you can see i have a main method and let me make this main method as a final and if i run this program it should be able to work properly right so we can make this main method as final so that it cannot able to you know uh, override in its subclass right so we cannot override the final methods in java right so obviously we can make main method as a final so that it cannot be overridden in the subclasses okay so we can make main method as a final it is possible right so here i have demonstrated you with an example over here all right guys these are the eight very important questions on java main method so whenever you prefer for the java interview make sure that you will just take a look into these main method interview questions and these questions especially ask for the freshers right so go ahead and check out this blog post i will provide a link of this blog post in the video description below so that whenever you will prepare for the interview just take a look into this blog post and uh, these interview eight interview questions on main method all right guys i hope this uh, you know video helpful to you let me know if you need more videos on java interview questions 
i will i will you know create a videos and i will publish for you guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video